We're going to change the schedule just a little bit, slide a few things, maybe a, a few minutes. So uh, some of the questions on personnel, uh, since we have General Vile here, we're going to uh, have him bring up uh, uh, some, a slide that's going to kind of explain a little bit overall where we're at with the Army. I, you just got the viewpoint of where Major Wittemat is at, at 10th Mountain. I remember when I was at 3rd ID as a lieutenant, we, were, we called ourselves the redheaded stepchild of the 18th Airborne Corps. If you're there, you kind of understand that. Um, so uh, with that, I'm going to pass it over to General Vial, and he's going to give us a, a quick overview of the personnel status. Yeah, hey, so uh, Brian Vial again. So again, I have three different hats. My second hat is Office Chief of Cyber. So I'm the Chief of Cyber. Uh, so yeah, what they're going to push up. So we, this is actually in your deck. So if you guys go into the digits you were provided, the last slide of my deck, which is hidden, uh, is the slide that will appear. There we go. Uh, so and I'll, I'll let him screw with it. But this really talks about the branch, the demographics, what we are, what M all the MOS does, what the core missions are at. Uh, but really what I want to talk to is where the branch is at in its growth. So what you can see, really what that chart shows, is way back when, when the first 100 of us got an email and it said, welcome to Cyber Branch, that was the purple mission. That was the 17 alphas. That was the where we were doing OCO in DCO. A few years back, we pulled in what were called the functional area 29s, the electromagnetic warfare guys, the EW guys. And we took it from a functional area and we made it part of the branch. And since then, almost all the growth in the branch has been on that 17B, the, the EW side, the electromagnetic warfare side of the coin. And what I'd offer is what you don't see there is the increasing demands that I have. I have an additional growth that I'm, I think is going to get approved for yet another 400 soldiers for the EW mission. And that's just for the counter small UAS fight. The Army is still building this. Part of what my challenge is, is trying to slow that growth so that it's sustainable. The branch does not have a retention problem. Every bit of data that we have shows we do not have a retention problem. We actually retain soldiers in accordance with the same, pro or, uh, the same rate the Army has. Where my problem is, is trying to grow the Army at the rate they want us to grow. That is actually the bigger challenge. Uh, so it, when you hear about the challenges, when you hear about the problems within the branch, I'd offer it's a good problem to have because what it is is the Army's recognition that what we do is the most important thing in modern warfare. And it simply is a question for me for how fast can I build it, how fast can I grow it, how fast can we acquire that equipment. My third job is Deputy Commander of the Cyber Center of Excellence for EW and Cyber. Long story short, what that involves is integrating the material capabilities along with the doctrine, along with the personnel, and trying to synchronize the delivery all in space and time. You have to remember, we're at the beginning of this growth. So the equipment, the fielding, the soldiers, you guys are going to see brand new equipment that's being fielded. There's COTS equipment, stuff left over from our 20 years fighting the war on terror. Uh, but what we're bringing to the field is flat out incredible. Uh, and this is part of where I put a lot of my time all day, every day, in order to make sure the soldiers, the equipment, the doctrine, the training, all come together at the right place at the right time. So I'll pause there, let you take in the slide. Like I said, it's in the deck, and I'll stand by for any questions. Lieutenant Sikorsky, or Cadet Sikorsky, my apologies. Promoted you before the fact. Uh, so what is the REQTS acronym there under the AIM section for officers? So requirements. So trying to neck myself in. Yeah, so what that means, so 17 alpha requirements. There are 261, if we're taking a look on the bottom right for 17A, there were requ open requirements for 261 17A officers. I only had 77 movers, which means today, because you've got to remember, that's not the number of officers available, that's the number of open billets. You know, so simple math in public, you know, there's around 190 short for 17 alpha across all groups. So, that second lieutenant all the way up to 06. What we're doing, you have to remember, where do I get a lieutenant colonel? He comes from a major. Where do I get a major? He comes from a captain. 
So part of what we've been able to do is you guys are right size. In fact, you guys are actually a little bit plus size to try to anticipate Army requirements. Really where my shortage is, is being able to reach out across the entire United States Army and find people that have the knowledge, skills, and ability to pull them in and make them a cyber lieutenant colonel. That's a challenge. We do take VTIPs, but we're very selective. I can recruit, I can assess piles of lieutenants. I can't assess or create piles of majors, lieutenant colonels, and colonels and maintain the quality that the force requires. So you just have to appreciate when you're looking at those requirements, that's across 01 to 06. Lieutenants were actually healthy. Lieutenants actually, I think we were at 170% in anticipation of some of the growth about a year ago. I'd have to go back and double check the numbers. But we are leading the target because of those lines keep going up. And again, I project there's additional line going up it's coming in the future. The technical term. Other questions? Okay, easiest brief of the day. No questions. All right, Todd, I think I'm handing it off to you. Thank you.